I'm Dr. Craig Pullman, and today's brainstorm is about studying for tests. Most students are pretty good at identifying the body of material that they have to study for an upcoming test, exam, or quiz. It's going to be a chapter in a book, it's going to be a series of lectures, uh, a series of notes. That's going to be laid out pretty clearly by the teacher. But what's less obvious, but even more important, is knowing what type of test they have to study for. And that comes down to identifying the types of questions that are going to be on the test. Really, those two types of tests boil down into factual tests, which are like quiz shows. You have to memorize, and then you have to download what you've memorized on the test in a multiple choice question or a fill in the blank question. And the other kind is an analysis test, which is like a performance, where you have to do things, solve problems. Math tests are like that. Science. Even language arts where you have to look at a piece of literature and then write about it, analyze what a poem means to you, connect it to your experience. Studying for those two types of tests is a different endeavor and you have to gauge your studying for the type of test. For factual quiz show type tests, the key is to memorize, 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 and then be able to download what you've come up with, what you've put in your memory banks when the test time comes. For an analysis or performance test, the key is to practice, 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 or rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. You have to solve problems or analyze things over and over and over, just like scrimmaging for an athletic event or a dress rehearsal for some sort of performance. If you can identify the type of test, it's a very important step towards being successful when the test comes.